Hello everybody, Tyron Cannon here and welcome to another episode of my NBA 2K22 My GM series with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Today, I'm not sure where we're going to skip forward to, um, maybe the trade deadline, maybe a little bit further depending on. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get through a match either this episode, but we'll wait and see how we go. Um, to start things off, we do have a trade offer from the Grizzlies. Um, before I do that, hopefully all you, all you guys are very well. Um, that goes without saying. Um, Ronald Blair, Dion Powers, first round pick. I'm going to say no to this because I want to keep Ronald Blair around. Plain and simple. Um, um, but I'm going to play forward. We'll just see how things play out. Uh, Tim Duncan is not getting fired. I just hired him, so I'm not going to fire him. Plain and simple. All right, guys, I've just noticed something. Jalen Brown's out for four to six weeks with an ankle sprain. That's in addition to Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart, who's out for six to eight weeks with a broken leg. So we're probably not going to be able to trade him before the trade deadline due to his injury, and we're not going to trade Jalen Brown anyway. Um, so now we, who's our starting shooting guard? It's uh, Gary Payton the second, so, which is fine. He's a good defensive player. Um, not the offensive player that Jalen Brown is, but... A solid replacement is what I'll say. He's a solid replacement. Um, now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip forward. We might actually just get through to the end of the season in this episode, guys, because I want to get into the playoffs again and play more playoff games. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, we'll, um, I'm going to skip through to the end of the season. We're, we've currently passed just past the halfway mark. So I'm going to play through to the end of the season, and then if we make the playoffs, we'll do some playoff action. If not, if it's not looking like we'll make the playoffs, I'll um, play one of the last games of the season. So bear with me, guys. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, we are here. We're getting very close to the trade deadline. Now, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Good news is one of our key players wants to re-sign with us, Darius Garland. The bad news is he's out for one to two weeks, so we're getting very injury prone, so we might need to get a new physio during the off-season. I just periodically check the contract extensions tab, but uh, Darius Garland wants to re-sign with us, so that's great. Four years, 102 million. Uh, we can definitely make that work. But I think for, we'll start at four years, 80, and then we'll, we'll see... We'll, we can work our way up if need be. Alright, he wants 96. We'll give him four years at 89. We'll do that. There we go. Darius Garland is re-signed. Happy days. Uh, I'm going to press on past the trade deadline. And if anything else comes up, I will let you guys know. Uh, we're on track to make the playoffs. We're currently in the seventh seed. Um, I'll let you guys know if anything changes, so I'll be back a little bit later. Alright guys, just tuning in before the end of the season. We're currently 30 and 30. We got a new skill point. I'll quickly show you what we uh, decide to update. I think we should um, get... Um, let's get... What should we get? 100% attendance improves governor mood. We'll do that one. Keep the governor happy and I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes. So bear with me, I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, we have reached the end of the season. We finished 38 and 44. Luka Doncic wins MVP yet again. I think he won it last year. I will just double check. Yep, back-to-back -back MVPs for Luka Doncic. Um, Everett Fuller gets Rookie of the Year. He was drafted fourth overall by the Spurs, 81 overall. Naz Reed gets Sixth Man of the Year for getting 16 and 7 with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Not too bad. Nerlens Noel gets Defensive Player of the Year for averaging two steals, three blocks a game. Fair enough. Jalen Green gets Most Improved, 17 points a game. Pretty good. Willie Green gets Coach of the Year, and Jacob Park gets Executive of the Year. Um, I would be surprised if any of our players made it on the all NBA teams. None of them have. All defensive team, again, I'd be surprised, but maybe Blair makes it to an all rookie second team. He doesn't, unfortunately. Um, so we don't make the play in tournament or the playoffs. So that's not ideal. Um, but we might actually get be, be able to get through the postseason. The Bucks win the championship. 
Congratulations to them. Who won it last year? I'm trying to remember who won it last year. Uh, da, 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 league news. League history. Who won the championship last year? Past champions, the Lakers won it. Okay, so... Anyway, we're going to simulate forward. We're going to do the off-season. And uh, let's uh, get into all the good stuff. Tim Duncan thinks we're a little bit light at power forward. Uh, we will be getting a few players there just because Miles Bridges is leaving the team. So I'm going to promise to complete this one. Mark Smart doesn't want to be here. I am going to trade him if I can, depending if he's still injured or not. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mix things up with the roster a little bit. There's a few players I want to bring in. Um, there's one player who's a free agent I will be out trying to get. You guys do know who it is. It is LeBron James. Um, I just don't know how we're um, how we're gonna afford him. That's the only thing. JJ Redick retires. He's the only player from our team that retires. So yep, fair enough. Um, we can't trade anybody just yet. We'll do the Hall of Fame. Dwight Howard makes the Hall of Fame. Kyle Larry and Dwight Howard get their jerseys retired. League meetings. Let's get into the league meetings. Uh, draft lottery. Worst team will have the reduced odds of obtaining top three pick. I disagree with that. Division winners will get top three playoff seeds in each conference. I yeah, will agree with that. Why not? Eliminate the shot clock. Hell no. Change the offensive... Uh, Six seconds to bring up the ball. I agree with that. I disagree with that. Let's see if anything changes. So the, the division winners will get top three payoff seeds in each conference. That's been changed. And you get six seconds to bring the ball up the court from an inbound. So that is good. Now the draft lottery. The Bucks have our pick. Because we gave it to them in the Middleton trade. So... We might have to try and trade for a pick. So we simu simulate the um, lottery. The Knicks get the number one pick. The Bucks have our pick. We have no first round pick this year. That is not good. Okay. I open over the numbers and all the blah, 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 blah. We need a new CFO. I will get a new CFO. Okay. But first, before I want to do staff signings, is I want to make a few trades. Mark Smart, you're out of here. I want to get... Let's see if we can trade ourselves into the first round. Um, Washington Wizards, we get two. We get a first round pick and a second round pick for 26 and 27. I'm going to do this trade. So, Mark Smart, short stay in Cleveland, but you're out of here. Tim Duncan's happy. Marcus Smart is gone. All right, who else? I'm just going to clear out the bench because I just want a complete reset of this team. Um, do we bring in Grayson Allen? That could be interesting. And a first round pick. And then we'll flip Grayson Allen if we can. We can for Oklahoma City 2026 first round pick, which belongs to Houston. That could be a decent pick for us. So we've got a few first round picks out of our bench, which is good. Boogie. Do we keep Boogie? I think we keep Boogie for now. Because he's a good... I think he's going to be a good bench player. Um, Darius Garland's just re-signed. Towns... Jalen Brown's down to an 82. So I think we'll keep him for now. He's a free agent in a year. So we'll hang on to him for now. Um, so we'll just wait and see what happens. Now, let's try and get ourselves into the draft. Pick 13, how much does Philadelphia want for pick 13? We will give you a Warriors top three protected first. And some second round picks. Let's do this trade. And we'll give you a lottery protected. 2025 first round pick. There we go. We're at pick 13. Um, now, we've still got our second round pick as well, but I want to move higher up in the draft. I want to get a few picks if we can. Can we move up to potentially maybe nine? 
we'll give you pick 13 and our 2027 first. That's a terrible trade. Um, no, we'll, we'll just stick at pick 13, I think. We've got our second round pick as well. Um, now, I'm just going to explore trades, um, but I'll be back for stuff's um, signings very shortly. Alrighty, guys, we are... Whoop. We, oh, give me a second. We are back here at the staff signing screen. Now, as you can see, we've got a new CFO and a new assistant coach. Uh, Samuel Olsen will be replacing... I don't remember the name of the other CFO we had, but he's gone. Signed him on a four-year deal worth $6 million. And we also picked up the recently retired Kyle Lowry, who will be our assistant coach going forward. He's got some good coaching attributes. Uh, also on the same deal, four years, $6 million, uh, over the course of four years. So that is going to be it for the uh, staff signing. Now we can uh, get into the draft. Okay, so Tim Duncan thinks that Morris Benson is our guy at small forward, small, sorry, shooting guard, not small forward. I'm going to say no promises, basically because I don't know what he's going to be like. And I want to have a look at all the prospects. So I'm going to just skip forward to our pick uh, at pick 13. And let's just see who's available. Um... Okay, there's one guy that immediately jumps out to me, and that is Stephen or Stefan Bell. He is a mid-range specialist. Um, his comp is Danilo Gallinari, but there's also Jimmy Erickson, whose comp is Andre Iguodala. He's a very similar player to um, the player that we drafted last year, Ronald Blair. Um, but we'll keep going down the list, see who's there. Let's have a look at shooting. Actually, let's have a look at power forwards, because we need power forwards. Tony Pittman's there, but he's 22. Dennis Rodman is his comp. Noenko Christopher. Stretch forward, he's probably a bit of a reach at pick 13. So maybe we trade down? Proposed trade. Let's get... Let's get the 27th pick and pick 10 in the second round for pick 13. And let's see if we can squeeze a future first out of them. They've agreed to the trades. We've traded down in the draft. But I think Nwanko, I had forgotten his surname already, but I think that's the pick. If he's still there, I'm assuming. Which he isn't. Where is he? Okay, we're going to trade for him. Uh, draft summary. Where did he go? He went pick 21 to the Grizzlies. So we're going to pr propose a trade with the Grizzlies. We're just going to find them. Oh, we just went past. Okay, so pick 27, pick 10. Actually, no, let's not do this. Pick 27. And we'll throw in our first for next year. All right, they've agreed to the trade. We've gotten our player. Now we can do some second round draft drafting. And I reckon we just pick the best guys available. Uh, Alonzo McGee looks pretty good. Solid three-point shooter. Prima defense can use some work, but I think he's our pick. So we'll pick him. Now we've got another second round pick. Um, Will Lewis. Projected pick was pick 35. We didn't really do a lot of scouting on this guy. Um, three point shooting is good. A plus perimeter defense. Yes, we're drafting you. <laughs> we are drafting you. Um, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. I think that is it. Um, we're going to draft all these guys. Sorry, sign all of these guys. Um, 74 overall, 75 overall, 76 overall. I'm very happy with our draft haul this year. I think we've done really well. Ross is looking a bit more balanced. You're welcome. Why didn't you pick Morris Benson? Because we found better players than Morris Benson. Team player options... Chris Middleton has accepted his player option. I'm actually going to trade 
Chris Middleton if LeBron is there and see if we can try and get LeBron. LeBron is there. But even if we trade um, Middleton, I don't think we can afford him. Um, let's just see what the market's like for Middleton. Um, get Rudy Gobert, pair him up with Towns like they did in real life. Um, but not really. I don't think that's a good trade. We could... Send him to the Spurs for Joshua Primo and a second. Hmm. Let's try and get as many picks out of the Spurs as we can. All right, let's have a look. We'll get the 2020, no. No, okay, that's, that trade's not gonna work. Um, oh, okay, I think we keep Middleton for now. Just because that is a massive expiring contract, but we'll, we'll see how we go. I'm just looking around at our players. I think we've done really well. Um, what if we try and trade Brown and Middleton? No offers. Okay. Brown? Just Brown? We get a 2024 first round pick from the Knicks plus Marcus Morris. I think it's easier not to. But we'll um, see if we can get LeBron. We'll offer him a contract. The worst thing that happens is he turns it down. Uh, we can offer him <laughs> one year, five mil. Sorry, LeBron. Um... So, who can we actually afford? What do we need, first and foremost? We've got... We've got our small forwards. We've got our power forward. We probably... We need some point guards and some power forwards, I think, is what we need. Um, so, let's have a look. Let's see what's out there. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, I think that'll be a good signing. He wants, we'll give him two years, 10 mil total, and we'll give him a little bit of a kicker on the back year as well. And let's go to power forwards, not signing Miles Bridges, although I don't want, really want to lose him for nothing. Hmm, I think I'm just going to let him go, just because I don't really want him on my team. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie agrees, that's a good thing. Do I keep Miles Bridges? I don't know, I said I wouldn't keep him, so I think that's best if I don't. Um... Justice Winslow is an option. I'm just going to look around free agency until I find a guy. And then I'll um, keep you updated once I've signed a few players. Alrighty, guys. We are here for training camp. Tim Duncan wants to send Carl Anthony Towns to big man offense. I'm going to do that. Um, I think we send untapped potential to each of the rookies now. Um, I think... Let's give it to Christopher. Get his potential right up there to an A+. Get it right up there. And that'll do us for the new season, guys. So I think I'm going to call it an episode here. We'll quickly look at the rotation, see what it looks like. Um, I think it looks good. I think we're going to be really good this season. We're going to give as many minutes as we can to lots of younger players. I will trade Bridges at some point this season. Um, actually, I didn't go over the signings that I did. Jesus. Um, I did bring, I did bring Bridges back, um, mainly because I didn't want to lose him for free. I signed him to a big contract, but I am going to trade him at some point this season. I brought in Spencer Dinwiddie. I brought in DeMarcus Cousins. I brought, brought in Gary Harris, Mike Conley, and PJ Tucker. That was it. That's all I did. 
Um, but anyway, I'm going to call it here, guys. Thank you for watching up to this point. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch up with you at the beginning of the next episode. See you guys then.